it as is and hoped for the best. I also put some of that same epoxy in this ketchup looking bottle that you see here and use that to fill in these cracks and voids in the surface of the table. I could have just used clear, but I want the little cracks and veins in the wood to match these lava rivers that the table is made up of. And I wasn't too worried about getting it neat because I'll sand it later anyway. I just want to make sure the voids are all the way full. And as I did this on the surface, it started looking a bit more orange and lava-like. So I was actually pleased with how that color combination turned out. I also added some yellow pigment into the mix and spread it around with a piece of this popsicle stick. And at this point, I kind of wish that I'd given myself more space to work with because trying to swirl these lava designs into the epoxy with hardly any space was very challenging and even irritating later on when tons of it dried on my live edges and I had to come back and scrape it all off, which took hours.